Hi, Melissa. Hi, April. Where is everybody? Here they come. Uh oh, can hide. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, George. Hello. So, where are you, April? Where am I? Yeah. Right here. Oh. <laughs> You're not I'm at in, the Cape? I am. I'm in Wellfleet right now. And when are you hiking? Yeah, hiking. We were kayaking, kayaking today. It's it's chilly down here. It's like fifty eight to sixty. It's it's not the warm, but it's beautiful. It's the last place to get warm. I wanted to tell you, um, we were down at the Cape and we were hiking in Provincetown this time of year, and we came across so many lady slippers. I've never seen oh. so many. Oh, so if you're interested, it's Duck Pond in Provincetown. The hiking trails around Duck Pond. I think it's called. It's right off of Route Six. It's on Route Six. I think I know where that is. Let me check that out. That would be awesome because I, I was I was amazed at how they were just everywhere. I've got to see that because uh, tomorrow's going to be really windy, you know, like twenty plus. So I don't think we'll be on the water, but hiking would be fine. It's yeah, a it's really a nice place to hike. It's 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 pretty nice. It's it's on the way to Herring Cove, just before Herring Cove. Okay, I'm sure I, I can find that. We've been out on Great Island. We, that's that's an area we like a lot. We love it. No, we've been to Great Island many times. Yeah, that's and Melissa is escaping. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not driving. <laughs> what is she doing? She's she's. It looks like she's in a car. She's also muted. She said she was multitasking. Oh. And you're muted. You're muted. We're reading lips. Life is is requiring multitasking today. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Starting from okay. six a.m. It happens. It happens. The worlds collide sometimes, you know. So did um, Peg say she's not going to be here? Let me call that. I I don't know. Well, I can't. I I haven't been reading closely. I'm just because she's not here yet, and she's usually. Yeah, she's usually here first. I need to check my email. That's how good at multitasking I am. Wow. <laughs> so I added a couple things that I'm not sure. Now I can't find the assessor's job, the digital version of his job description. Oh, good. Let me see. Um, are you looking for it, April? Mm hmm yeah, Which one would that be? Let me check my Shootsbury. Uh, uh, there I am. I see any mention from her? No, I'm not seeing it. She yeah, had just an email about a week ago, and I didn't read. I know I didn't read it, so I when she didn't. Well, I just searched by her name, and I found the minutes. Let's see. Oops, wrong email. Let's try yeah, I'm looking at all the emails. I don't. I'll not be returning to Colorado till the twenty first, oh. which would lead me to believe she's home. Yeah, nothing about her not attending. Dollar? If you have her number. No. What am I looking for? Yeah, I see George's minutes. I don't see anything from her. Nope. So I guess they're just go on. I, I'm not finding her number. It's probably that'll be somewhere. I 
I can email her, but we know she doesn't check emails very often. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, who would like to chair in, instead? Melissa. No, are you going to cut in and out? I have to duck out yeah, at seven. Probably not the I best. I have to duck out at seven. So okay. Probably not the best in front of a car. I'm not in front of a computer. I can't do all my techie things. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, April. Okay, so I'm going to call the meeting to order. <laughs> I know. I yep. got to get back to vacation. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, just so you know. Okay. So do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of 4-2023? So moved. I have a night aside. Do you got to second it first, George? Oh, true. I'll second it. <laughs> Great. Good, good job. <laughs> I thought when April said it and you moved it, I was thinking. And you typed okay. it up. Okay, Arvanitis, aye. Make peace, O'Neill, aye. And Stein, aye. Okay. I still giggle at that all the time. Right. Stein, aye. Stein, aye. Stein, aye. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> There's a sty in my eye. <laughs> so, so the next thing is to discuss the annual report to be presented at town meeting and it's probably a good time to tell you i pro i will not be there um, you're skipping out on it i am we're, we're coming back from the cape on the third so i can probably make something in the afternoon but i won't be there till mm, much before noon didn't you do this last year too no i tried <laughs> now one year i i left for the cape right after that's that was it's that, years, was that was a couple of years ago but i this is really i it's hard to know when when town meeting is going to be you know it's, it seems somewhat fluid and, it's later and later every year yep because we're still out we've decided we're we're better behaved outside but anyway so we're going to what what do we want to present um, what what do we want to highlight, and who wants to highlight it? Peg, she's not here. Yeah, she's voted. <laughs> she's voluntold. <laughs> I like that. Voluntold. She's voluntold. Well, what, what, what do we have? Let's talk about that first. Maybe Peg will pop. George, up. we're hardly hearing you. Oh, really? Sorry, just trying to get close to my speaker. You're mumbling. That's not yep. unusual. Do you have something in front of your computer, maybe blocking your microphone? Uh, I don't think so, but I'm going to look at. Um, see if I can turn it up. How about now? Better. Okay, I will. I will project. Okay. So, what did we accomplish? Uh, <laughs> we <tried. laughs> What have we not done? Well, let's uh, see. We, what, we reviewed many job descriptions. We have reviewed job descriptions. Mm -hmm. We're we're still in the process of classifying, con completing the classification, and, and we're working on the policy manual. Is still yeah, in progress. Right. Yep, that's a lifelong oh, commitment. That's an ongoing <laughs> project. <laughs> so updating policy <laughs> manual and classification schedules. And well, we set the formula last year for the raises, right? Um, and we did all that work um, the year before, right? If I'm remembering correctly, it was yeah. That, that was I that think was two the, years ago. Yep. Um, I had the minutes and what did we do? We we uh, the policy for a three hour um minimum for the fire department but it has to get yep. written up so i can get the select board to approve it okay i've told them and i briefed them on the concept but i think i need to hand them something to approve or else we no we can just go ahead and add it to the handbook right yeah yeah why not 
since they already supported it, I think they did. I'll double check on the minutes. I think you remember voting it. I. Hmm. I don't think so. I think we have to. No, I think, I think you mentioned it in your updates. Right. I. I but I don't think it. we voted it. So, but the personnel board has to come to the select board and present that policy and get it voted by July. Okay. 5th. Okay. So that's in process, and we have. Do we need to vote that now? That we will do that. Is I that we did? We did. I thought did okay. we vote it? Yeah, yeah. I did. So. yeah. I thought. we're done. At the time you created it. Yes. Yeah. And then and then we had voted to approve it and take it to the select board. And it's probably, I mean, in your minutes, George, you describe it. So that's halfway to being a real policy. Right. Sounds good. So what about um, the conversation we had with the CONCOM? Right, I was just thinking that, that, that we... Um, reviewed concepts of, uh, what do they call it? A wetland agent? Yes. Yes. And considered, what did you say, Becky? What was your, the word you used? So it's a wetland agent. What is it really called? Uh, it's not it's the, a, it's the. A, a new ComCom -com employee or. What is the name of that? It's an agent. Um, it'll come. And that we, we also, you know, attended meetings with other, with the other towns. Um, yeah, so remember it was a big deal. It was a big deal. It was a land use clerk position. Commission, no. uh, conservation commission agent and land use clerk. Right. So we already have a land use clerk. That position position is solidified, but they what they wanted was a concom agent. That's what it is. Yeah, that's concom right. agent. Because that's I'm looking at the minutes from January. And that's yeah, right. and uh, considered one and considered sharing one. Mm -hmm. So, and it's kind of dead in the water. Um, no, the only thing that, but unfortunately. It would have been that was a nice fun April. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been helpful if we had completed a job description for a concom agent. I think that is open business that should be pursued. Mm -hmm. um, because they'll come back and want to hire somebody immediately again at some point in time and we'll need to be prepared. So we you're saying considering creating a comcom -com agent position. Yeah, yeah. We, we considered that, but we also had sort of batted that back to the concom -com to give and us com -com a draft. Project. She said, oh no, we can't do that now. That's right. So in for future business in conjunction with the concom, -com, we will. But you can, I mean, we got a lot of information. We could, we could put that information together in a job description and send it to them for their review. I'd like that. So you want me to add in conjunction with the CONCOM? Sure, yeah. Because all the work that has been done so far was done in conjunction with the CONCOM, right? Maybe I'll say working with the CONCOM to consider creating. But didn't, we also, uh, didn't we also help to hire a new police chief, a fire chief? Wasn't that over the summer? It certainly was. Yes, the, the the interview process and the job description process, right? Yes, and uh, you know we were part of that. You know, describing what we need. You know, the, the study committee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last year though, not this year, April. That's right, but it, but based on that work, we were able to hire a new fire chief. Uh, involved and in the important role of participating in those things. Yes. Right. Yes. That's why we're here. That's right. Okay. Involved in hiring of a new. Involved in is that a good enough language? Mm -hmm. Hiring a new fire chief. Okay. So I got I got five things: review job descriptions, update policy manual, updating classification schedules. I'm going to say updating policy manual, not. I don't want it to sound like we're done. Working with ConCom to consider creating a ComCon agent position involved in hiring a new fire chief. 
We're also right. supporting the uh, town clerk and getting an assistant again and opening up that position uh, again. Well, approved the creation, right, of an assistant. It's not creation. It, it's uh, resurrection. Supporting establishing. establishing. Okay, yeah. you got it. Good point. Good point. Since Grace used to be an assistant town clerk, it's. <laughs> Before this meeting is over, I would like at the end if we could talk about the town clerk position. I have a question. You're about cutting it. out. We said try that again. No, it's me. It's uh, it's um, I would you like to, to talk about the town clerk position. I would like to talk about the town clerk. I have a question about um that particular position, not about the person in it, but the position in, yeah. in general. I haven't. I, I have a. I want to talk about something. So okay. approve the reestablishing of an assistant town clerk. Yes. Position. Well, you can't. Okay, so the select board. Uh, uh, approved, so supported, recommended. I would say supported because you don't have the authority to approve. Well, how about, um, okay, how about recommended to the Yes, select? that's even better. Yes. Recommended. Yeah. Highly recommended. <laughs> Well, Told the select to... board. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and select corrected board. the select board. <laughs> we told them what exactly. We told them what to do. And aren't we? We're still keeping an eye on you know the wage and salary scale. We haven't actually been doing that as openly, but once the budget is passed, I think we should, you know, keep an eye on. Are we still in the ballpark? Well, Maybe. I think that I think we decided next year we're going to do an analysis of the process <laughs> for pay increases or for the annual COLA. And as a part of that, we were going to do that same, right. pretty much the same okay. thing we did two years ago, where we took all the towns and looked at what the averages are and compared them to ours. Yeah. So, so we're definitely going to be doing that, I think, April. Yes. Recommend, recommend reception the assistant town clerk position. Okay. And would it be best to do that right after the Franklin County report comes out? Which yes. It usually comes out, I think, around October or November. Yeah, it's usually yeah. around the holidays. Yeah. Um, as soon as we get it, I can do the same analysis I did last year. I, I should have time. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, it's not a small job, but <clears throat> I could do it. You can do okay. it. Okay. So we're I up could. to six things. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a great yeah. I think you're going to so give it to you, Peg to read. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll send it to everybody and um, ask Peg if she plans on attending a town meeting and if she could, you know, this is what we came up with and would she be willing to talk? I'll ask her. Okay. If she says no, um, it's between me and Melissa to draw straws. Are are you, are you going to be at town meeting, George? Are you going in where fun and exciting? <laughs> yes, I will be there with bells on. Okay. <laughs> I I mean I don't mind reading it either. Um, you know, so if if it gets handed off, it, either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't yeah. matter. We can talk about it, and we'll have it printed. So and yeah. Yes, and, and town meeting is fun and exciting. Well, it's outside. Um, I prefer it not meeting. to be. <laughs> no, I know. But it's unavoidable, apparently. Let's just hope it's not as long as schedule. last year's. Yeah. What? Not as fun as last year's? As long. Yeah, it could be shorter this year. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. I'm hoping. Well, we had a lot on, on the table. Okay. Well, we when so. All right, we only have one petition this year instead of six. So that could make it shorter, right? And there's nothing about solar, so that's good. But lot 32 will probably somehow find its way into, O 032 will find its way into this process. Well, there is no vote. I mean, the votes are on, you know, the money. I understand goes, that, but yeah, yeah I just, I, it, it, you know, somebody's yeah. going to find a way to, to talk about it. Yeah. I hope I'm wrong. All right. First so, Amendment rights. Exactly. <laughs> Civil yeah, rights. Exactly. Exactly. And bodily harm right. All right. That's enough. 
Okay, so the three hour minimum policy for the fire department, that that is, we're recommending that, I'm going on the agenda. Um, that's definitely going to be on a, the agenda for the select board to, no, 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 we're not doing that. No, it's gonna be part of the policy. Hang yeah, so we gotta get the policy. We, so we need, but it would be best and I can try to write it up for next meeting. I'm just um, turn what we have into a policy. And then I'm sure Melissa would want to format it and make it pretty. So I can do that. We'll pass it I can do her. that part. <laughs> and then we'll bring it for the next meeting. Because yeah. we but really we need, already... to have, we need to have it done in June. Yeah. Just so that can That's go. July. Because we have the funding ready to go July 1st. So yeah, yeah. that's fabulous. So then, so the, what do I up. write here in the minutes? We really uh, three minimum hours. Um, town administrator Becky will um, write a policy, document policy. Is that what it is? Yes. Or just say write it up. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, Got and it. we'll with a plan to vote that and have that in in um, in, in effect for July one. Yeah. Okay. And it's, I'm calling it three hour minimum pay for firefighter response policy. Yeah. 24 That's hours a day. Title. Got it. Assessing department job descriptions, I think, is next April. I think it is. Isn't that what we're doing? Okay, assessing department job descriptions. Okay, and I didn't send them to you because the, the only one I could find was for the position we never created, the assistant assessor, um, which was an idea of Kevin's, but oh, okay. that we never did. And I apologize. So basically the reason what we need to do um, is our current administrative assessor job description has the job, I believe, at 20 hours. It might have moved to 24. Um, that was Kevin's job. And it has all, you know, everything that pretty much that David Burgess is going to do. But we need to change the job description from 20 hours a week to 20 hours a month. Wow. <laughs> That's oh. pretty impressive. Hey. So what we were paying him to do for 20 hours a week, this guy's going to be able to do 20 hours in a month. Is that because he's got Leslie, uh, Becky? He, well, he's utilizing, I mean, Leslie has stepped up more. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to have to change less the clerk's hours to be like 15 to 20. Um, what to talk to her. Um, she's been, she doesn't, she won't. She currently has been working around 20 hours a week um, for about the last five or six months. She's looking forward to stepping that back a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if we leave it at like 15 to 20, out, if we change, because it used to be 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. But if she's doing 15 to 20, I think she, she'll be comfortable. Um, and we might, she might want it to say 12 to 20. I don't know, but we'll give her a range. Okay. And flexibility to um, continue to, to do all the support work for David. So like when David gets there, she has a pile of stuff all ready for him, all the open issues. She'll have a pile of whatever properties need to be looked at. So she's really um, doing a lot of work to make his, his job more efficient. What's your title again, Becky? Assessor's clerk. Uh, she she puts so much work into that. Yes, she's doing a good. She's doing a fine job. I'm glad mm -hmm. she's not doing two jobs anymore. No, me too. Because uh, that that was that was hard. So hard on. Her. So we may need to increase her hours, Becky. You're going to meet with her to discuss um, the appropriate number of hours. Yep, and then I'll bring that recommendation back. Uh, on hers. We know exactly what needs to happen to David's. I think that could be voted today if you agree, since it's already, I mean, he's already accepted it under those terms. Okay, um, so we need a motion for? To um, 
Thanks. to change the hours on the assessor. assessor. Administrative assessor. Administrative assessor. <laughs> there was another word. 20 hours a month. So I would say so moved in that case. Somebody else might second. second that. <laughs> I second it. I'm there. I'm I'm on it. I know. Can almost hear you typing it out before you second. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I am trying <laughs> to keep up. Um, Arvin, I decide. Make peace on your eye. And Stein eye. That's that, this is just one of the best news, you know, for the it's for the town. News. It's really, really wonderful. I hope he understands how we appreciate what he's doing. Yes. Yes. And he's in the Caribbean right now. Wow. wow. Vacation. Oh, not I think second. he just trumped your trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the, the you just uh, stop drooling over your trip. <laughs> that's right. You should see it's it's blowing, it's cold out, it's foggy, it's yeah, oh, it sounds wonderful. It's, it is, it's not the Caribbean. It's good to be in a meeting. <laughs> it is a beautiful place. Oh, if Marty had her way, we would live it, we'd be living at the Cape. I know yeah. my daughter just moved to the Cape, so it's nice, it's, but housing stock is, uh, yeah, cool. it's crazy. Yeah. It's you know, nice. we talked about all the places you like to go and I, I happen to know about those places too. You know, yeah. how many other hundreds of thousands of people also know about those places? About four more people. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's keep okay. this party rolling. Where am I? I'm at, oh. uh, that my computer. And then it's just right. a reference to future business, April. Yes, future business. Which is the same as it always is. Yes. <laughs> Copy paste. <laughs> Pretty much. The goal for this year is to get it done. Complete it. Yes. Yes. We'll have oh, to have the that in minutes. Yes. Okay, I'll leave that. The out. goal this year is to complete it. Yeah. We yes. can set that goal. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's it's implied. So Becky, you you said you had some things you wanted to add to I did. Because oh. the agenda ended after the annual town meeting. So I added three and four. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I needed for. That's why I got all those notices about the meeting updated. That's what you were doing today. Yeah. I should have yeah. known you were behind it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put so, the Zoom link in too. So I was curious. Is now the time? Well, why is the town clerk? a voted position and is that what all towns do and is it time for us to consider making mm. that not a voted position but an appointed position you know a higher position like a higher board. position why oh. why would you want to turn it well from okay so we have a town clerk she has a job she loves her job she can get voted out of her job no matter what she could be the best town clerk in the state of massachusetts and she could be voted out of the job she has no job security. Now, in the state of Massachusetts, in the state of Massachusetts, your retirement is based on the number of hours you work as a municipal employee. So if I'm going to stay in the state of Massachusetts and plan to have a retirement, I need to work, what, 10, 20 years? But I'm in a job where I could get voted out tomorrow for political reasons. You know, it just seems to me, I don't understand why it's a voter position. I guess well, you could lose question. your job because uh, you, a new select board came in that is gunning for you and they only, you know, they ran for the office to fire you. Yes, because they don't like your politics, so even though it's an administrative. Have, yeah, you don't have any more hmm. security as, as an appointed employee, really, either. Well, you do in that if you're doing a good job, they need a reason to fire you. They just can't fire you because they don't like you. Right. You, I mean, you I suppose they can, but right. you have to have documentation or you end up with a lawsuit. Yeah, it's a much, it's a much higher, but I think to vote out a sitting town clerk would be, I, I, I think people would, Grace, I can't imagine her. I think, she, I don't know. Maybe not, but it, it can happen. It just conceivably could happen. Um, I think one reason I appreciate the fact that the town clerk is elected, she's not subject to the 
she doesn't work for anybody but the people. You know, well, she she doesn't have I'll to work for the people. Her. You work for the people, Becky. I know, but I mean, as an elected official, she doesn't have, and I think her job, the person has to really. I'm not. Well, I guess also too, George, we've had, I mean, we had Leslie, to, to be quite honest, we had Leslie for so long. She signed my birth certificate and my <laughs> marriage <license. laughs> and my nephew's birth certificate. But when, wow. Susie, when Susie ran, there were people you know? that did not want Susie to be the town clerk. No, I know. And if there was another election, they would have tried to find somebody to run up against her. Also, there wasn't. Clerk, no, you're right. But she, she still won. Right. They did still win, but that doesn't mean they wouldn't have tried to kick her out the next time. But they didn't. Well, she she was she did she get she elected ran, twice? She ran. She she was town clerk mm. for a two full terms. All and right. And one other reason I bring this up, and then I mean, I, I'm okay. just raising it as a thought. The other the other thing is, if because it's a voted position, it has to be a Shutesbury resident. Yes. Yes. So that when we go to hire somebody, it limits our pool. Is my other point. Um, I mean, that's I not to say that, there aren't lots I, of other people. See, I, I really feel it's critical for that position to be a, a member of the community. But you're right. All your all your reasons are valid. But, um, but why? It's an administrative position. She has very set duties. She had and responsibilities, and we need a competent person to be able to do those things. Grace is great, you know. I don't know. That's it. It's, it's something to think well, about. It's an important I, discussion to have, George. You know, I just, I, have to discuss it. You know, I just googled this I, I, as I you're talking. You, it's not on the agenda, so mm -hmm. it might be one you want to carry over to another meeting, so that if the public is interested, they can participate. A select board. I was just googling this, and a select member of a of a town in Massachusetts researched about 189 towns in the state have elected town clerks, 135 have, actually, I don't know if that's the right number, but- Well, it, the two combined it, is not 351, but- No, it's not, okay. But there's there are others who are appointed. You know, it's, it seems like more than half are- I'll ask Peg to put- It would be good to get Grace's thoughts on it too, um, from her experience. I just- And there, Susie for that matter. There's independence in that position that, is in it it's not like in any other well uh, it's, and and the reason for it being a townsperson george like melissa said that she vital records are you know the, the the births and deaths of everyone in the community they're a very critical you know and when these things occur Having a person that has connection to the community, I think it's harder on the person because they tend to know more people and may very may likely know, you know, they're getting all these death notices before anybody else. So emotionally, it's a very tough position, I think. I mean, well, the births are fun and the marriages are fun. Well, uh, yeah, but that's that's another argument for somebody who's not a member of our community because then they have that layer of protection from emotional reaction but but it's, it's, but no, it's, it's interesting. for them but they can give their interaction with family members is i would argue could be more sensitive than if it's an you know some well, other I mean, when we hire somebody we're going to hire we want to hire somebody who's competent and has all the skills needed to do the job and you know, and so we've gotten that by through elections. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, when uh, we could end up getting. OK, I'll ask Peg to put this on the agenda. This could be a fun debate. Well, it's also <laughs> George, I, I agree with you, Becky. Answer. I think we should talk to Leslie, Grace and, and Susie. It, it's, it's also says in as I Google this, that this position is one of the oldest positions uh, that with tax collector and, and the ta the uh, town clerk goes back to biblical times. You know, yeah. it's really, it's ancient in many ways. And I wonder why the town clerk is elected and the town administrator is not. Uh, to me, they're, they both, they're, they're very, they're not similar. Obviously they're 
clearly different responsibilities, but in, as far as the relationship to the community goes, I think they're the same in terms of their importance to everybody in town. They both work for town. And yeah. all those things you say about Grace is true about Becky's position as well. Yeah, that's true. Hey guys, I gotta, take a, I, gotta, I gotta take a phone call. Okay. Thank you Thank so you. much. Right. Good See night. you. We'll talk See about you. this Bye. again. Take care. Okay. We adjourn. We don't have a quorum. <laughs> Does that mean